Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Bird and welcome to an X-Lights tutorial video on going from Lightorama to X-Lights. This is part one of a five-part video series on this particular topic and we're going to be covering everything from going in with the lighting networks and the layout all the way to getting it working in the field uh, with a Falcon board and with any kind of Lightorama network that you may have. Um, last year was my very first year starting in X-Lights. I've been a long time Lightorama user. Uh, and each year I continue to grow and grow my show and now moving into X lights because I have more RGB things uh, in more RGB things and elements in my show. Um, I'm just going to go over a couple things here with Lightorama uh, that I've learned throughout the years and also going into X lights in particular. Um, so now with X lights, uh, for example, whenever you start off, uh, you'll have your lighting networks here. And you'll have an L add LOR button here. I've seen people do add E131, USB, anything like that. But for today, we're just going to do an add LOR. We're going to click this button right here. Now, whenever this brings up, you'll have an LOR setup. You'll have your connection details, like ID, and that will just be whatever universe it's basically on. It's not the unit ID. It's just going to set that as universe 1, universe 2, 3, 4, 5 whatever you would like to do. Uh, for my particular shows, I'll do, like I'll put it on universe one through five and on universe six, I have my RGB elements and anything that has to do with Falcon or any kind of holiday chorus stuff or anything that I may use there. Um, and I'll use that and on. And I'll do it from like, say, like I said, universe six and on, uh, but universe one through five, I use particularly for LOR, any kind of LOR controllers, networks, anything like that. Uh, so for this instance, we're going to do an ID of 1. So basically, it's going to be going out on universe 1. Um, now, when it comes to the port, you'll have your COM3 port is what I almost always use. Uh, for my computer, it's on the right side of my computer. I've seen COM3 port on the left side. On desktops, I've seen it on the back, on the front. It's really up to whatever manufacturer you know that you end up purchasing from. Maybe you built your own computer. Um, you can always find it in the device manager, though, or even going into the Letterama hardware utility and finding it by clicking, I believe it is auto find or something like that. And it will say, you know, found on com whatever. Or you can also do it where it'll pop up and say, are you sure you want to have a show on this port com whatever its name is? And that's how you can figure out which com port it may be on. Um, so for this instance, we're going to do port three. So it'll be com three there. The baud rate is going to stay at 115,200. Uh, that will come into play more whenever I do a video on Easy Light Linker, which will be later in this small video series. And for the description, we're going to put one, or LOR controllers. I'll put in a description of one on one whenever I do the controllers. So for this instance, I have one Lightorama controller. It's one, it's a Gen 3, and it's a 16 channel controller. I have it set on unit ID 1. So basically, whenever you do this, you can do any kind of types of controllers like RGB, CCR, CCB, any kind of pixie. Um, I have tried CCR and CCB, and they work almost every time. Uh, the only difference that may come is that your connection isn't strong or you know, anything like that, but they'll usually work. Um, I do have a couple in my show that I'll use, and they work very well. Uh, but for this instance, like I said, I'm going to be doing an AC controller uh, with 16 channels on Unit ID 1. As you change these, you'll see that it moves into the LOR. So once it hits, say, unit ID of 10, it'll go into A, B, C, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but for this part, we're just going to do a unit ID 1 with an ADDR mode of normal and description. That's where we put the 1. So whenever you have this one, you can also add in others. Um, like I said, CCB, CCR, Pixies, all that. Uh, for this particular video, I'm not going to be doing that. I'll be happy to go into that later on, though if anybody has any questions on that. Uh, but for this one, we're going to do an AC controller on unit one. Now, by doing that, it's going to make an LOR optimized network type on COM3. Like I said, there's your baud rate. Universe one, number of, 16, number of channels is 16. Basically, what that's done is it has just put 16 channels in an LOR optimized network on universe one. That's why I usually separate all my RGB things on all the following universes from six and on. So that allows universe one through five to be Lightorama equipment. You don't have to do that. Uh, that's just some way how I do it in particular. And um, I think that will just about do it for this. Uh, but in the next part, we're going to be going over the layout of 
something like this for this one controller on channels 1 through 16. And we'll go in from that and look at it from that perspective. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next part.